I think I heard a couple boos for Morrison Daly here in the crowd, Andy. Man, I told you, Hunter Mead's the crowd favorite. He's he's from he's. I think he lives like 30 minutes up the road, man, and he he sold a bunch of tickets for tonight's fight. Two West Virginia boys taking one another on here tonight. Watch Both this. guys coming out with us. Hunter Mead's going to throw everything. It's going to be looking to hurt you and knock you out. See? Heavy, heavy. I'm telling you, for Hunter Mead. <laughs> Both guys trading. Oh, big oh, right God. hand over the top. Hunter Mead throwing big shots. Morrison Daly's ripping right back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, good knee. He can't kick. Hunter Mead eats it and passes. A frenetic pace to start this fight. Man, I'm telling you, he's always looking for the finish. Very aggressive. And Morrison Daly standing right in the fire. Yeah, he is. Morris is doing a good job now of, of holding Hunter Mead's posture down, which he needs to do. He's trying to shrimp back in, Hacker to retain guard, it looks like, to get out of this half guard situation. Yeah, but those dang shin pads don't do you any favors, Man, do they? They don't. They really don't. And really, they don't protect you that much like people think they do. Morris and Daly working to reclaim guard. Oh. Doris attempt here for Hunter Mead. I don't see. I don't think he's going to be able to. Oh, he's oh and Morrison Daly tap. Hunter Mead, good job, Hunter. And the second, the second mouthpiece one. into the crowd. Hunter Mead moves to two and two over Morrison Daly by way of Darce choke. Sneaky, sneaky. I mean, I didn't <laughs> think he had the angle to get that, man. No, I'm going to be the honest. L I did not either. No. But you know, who knows? But we look at these hard leg kicks, Atlas Hacker. I mean, both of these guys, and look, Morrison stood in the phone booth with him, man. I mean, you got to give it up to him. He was here to fight. Look at the combo from Hunter Mead to start the fight. Right hand over the top, uppercut to the body, back up to the head. Good stuff from Hunter Mead. And here you see, this is what ultimately did it. And Dar's choke here. And Morrison Daly, I mean, he was looked like he was thinking about tapping for quite a while there before he actually did. Yeah. And maybe whoa, I just peach right into the crowd. I just don't see how that was finished from there. But that's okay. I mean, it, it, I, I wasn't in it, so I don't know how tight it was. Very, very true. And again, it's just amateur. It doesn't matter for Morrison Daly, of course. And that is now two mouthpieces into the crowd, likely two suspensions. But as Andy mentioned earlier, I don't think they really care that much. All right, let's wrap this one up. Here's Lance Green. Three, two fighting series fans, your referee, Sean Wood has brought a stop to this fight in a staggering one minute and nine seconds into round number one. Your winner by tap out due to Darce Choke out of the blue corner, Hunter Me. Yeah, you can have her here. Guys, we are here with Hunter Mead, who just took Daly out with the Darce Choke. Hunter, how do you feel? I feel great. I work on that Darce Choke a lot. I don't know. B2. <laughs> um, I hit the I hit the darts a lot. It's not really uh, it's not really common for shorter guys to hit it because I or, uh, shorter arm guys to hit it because you know of length and whatnot. But when I lock it up, it's tight. Yeah. And I hit it a lot in training and stuff. But I'm glad I got a sub on my record now. Absolutely. And you came out just flying. I mean, you're a force to be reckoned with. Is that something that you do at home when you're training? I try. <laughs> I try. And how do you feel watching him fight? Oh, it's so exciting. He did a great job. Yeah, it's, yeah. Are you supportive at home for this as oh, well? For sure, yeah. Yeah, I support him 100%. That's awesome to hear. Where Are we going to see you next in the B2 cage here soon? April 23rd, Lexington, Central Bank Arena. There we go. All right, guys, you heard it from Hunter Mead. He's going to be in Lexington, so stay tuned. And thank you so much for being so supportive. <laughs> thank you.